the ambient smearing of Bernie Sanders. You know, you're not going to find overt smear campaigns against Bernie Sanders in the, in the MSM. Uh, you will find, for the most part, a tone, a softer, ambient tone over an elongated period of time um, that constantly questions and constantly doubts and constantly fabricates stories about Bernie Sanders. You will see this every day. You will see this on every major network multiple times a day. It's it's one that is is the point. The goal is to wear people down by setting an ambient narrative that is not overtly obvious um, in overtly condemning Bernie. Okay, it's not going to be. Um, black and white. It's going to be a little bit more in the middle. And this is how they get away with it. This is how they think they're going to get away with it, by doing this in a mild, ambient tone over a long period of time. It's almost like gaslighting. Like, uh, if, you, if someone gaslights you every day for a long period of time, you'll start seriously doubting yourself. You'll start seriously doubting your in, your sanity, and you will think you are insane at some point if it if it keeps going. Okay, same same philosophy here. If you keep hearing stories about Bernie Sanders every day for the next year and a half, that constantly doubt him, that constantly cast this tone, this negative tone about him, okay, when it's time to vote, you will eventually lose interest. That's their goal here. So, when MSM runs their daily smear campaign, understand that it is a long-term strategy to get you to doubt him During this primary season, you got to be aware of it. Like I said, it's it's an it's it has an ambient tone to it. It's very subtle. It's very these are mild smears. These aren't necessarily overt smears, but they're going to set the narrative to cast doubt, to frame him in a negative context as much as possible over the next year and a half. So you don't have to be surprised when you see it. You just need to be aware that it's happening. That's it. Because it's going to happen. And it's happening now. <laughs> you turn on any major publication, turn on any, uh, you know, anywhere in your Twitter feed, anywhere on Facebook, you're going to see, and we've been seeing these smears, that are all about setting negative tone, all about setting, uh, casting doubt, not condemning, not openly condemning, but the, it's just a constant narrative of doubt.